Hey everybody, it's still Friday the 13th, April 2018. Now we have a news story about actor Will Ferrell being involved in a rollover SUV accident. And there's some interesting stuff that pops out about this story even before running any numbers. First of all, he was coming from an event where he was dressed up as Ron Burgundy. Uh, his character from the movie Anchorman, which came out in the year 2004. So it's a very short article, not a whole lot of details to pick through. Um, we're just told that this SUV crash occurred last night somewhere in California on the freeway. So was this a real accident? Is this staged? Was this SUV placed here? Well, I'm not going to answer those questions, but I'm definitely going to raise some questions based on the details of this story. As they say, the devil is in the details, and certainly the devil is behind the mainstream media. So the language of gematria is what I teach on this channel, and it's very simple. It's based on these four base methods. In the top left, you see the alphabetic order numbered 1 through 26 relative to each letter's possession in the alphabet. You can reverse the order so that Z is 1 and A is 26. Below that are the two reduction methods. All the double digit numbers are added together until you arrive at a single digit. We're also going to take a look at Jewish gematria. This is based on the original Latin alphabet. It's a much older cipher, uh, produces much larger numbers than you're going to typically see in the ordinal or reduction methods, obviously. And to start, let's just type in the name Ron Burgundy. And in Jewish gematria, this sums to 1103. And as I commonly point out in my videos, this is the mainstream's num uh, number of deception. And how beautiful is it that they coded this number into the mainstream anchorman? And how beautiful is it that they coded this number into the name of the main character of Anchorman, delivering the news, Ron Burgundy? Of course, the word mainstream equals 113. Most people get their news in the evening, also 113. But this is a number of deception for so many reasons. In both the alphabetic order and reverse order, all of these words that have to do with dishonesty and lying sum to 113. And it's a fitting character, or a fitting guy, to play the character, Will Ferrell. And the name Ferrell, using the reverse alphabetic order, also equals 113. The very short headline, very nondescript, it just says that he was involved in a car accident. You'd think they'd mention that the car flipped over or something, you know. How... Anyways, they point out the word involved. Involved also equals 113. Now, if you take the entire headline gematria and simply paste it into the calculator, you don't see the number 113, but if you look at the alphabetic order, 339 is 3 times 113. So very likely we're looking at a big bullshit story here. In fact, bullshit equals 113. Now in the reverse alphabetic order, check this out. The headline sums to 525. So we saw the significance in ordinal. Well, in reverse ordinal, it sums to 525. And if you look at the release date of the first Anchorman movie, here we're looking at the Wikipedia page for the Anchorman series, measuring date to date from July 9th, 2004 to the date of the crash, April 12th, it's exactly 5,025 days. And, you know, this isn't just a random number to pay tribute to. Uh, 525 is 5 to the 4th power, right? So... Um, another rep digit multiplied by itself, you get 525. In the reduction method, this sums to 159. And the reason this stands out is because the Anchorman character he was playing, Ron Burgundy, equals 159. Uh, but that's not all with this word. In the reverse alphabetic order, Scottish Rite equals 159. And it's the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry that's fabricating these silly news hoaxes by the numbers. Now in the standard alphabetic order, Scottish Rite equals 165. 
So not only does this match Will Ferrell's Gematria in the reverse order, notice he also has 1165 in Jewish. But again, measuring to that same date that the first Anchorman film came out, you'll find it just turned 165 months old this past week. Not a coincidence, just simply fabricated news by the numbers. Talking about Freemasonry, well, Freemasonry has a gematria value in reverse reduction of 59. Now the 59th prime number is 277. In another significant form of gematria called Frank Baconis, Freemasonry also sums to 277. And it just so happens that measuring from the anniversary of that movie's release, notice it was Anchorman's 13-year anniversary this past July, that was 277 days ago. And how fitting to celebrate Anchorman's 13th birthday when you write out the number 13, you get 99, 117, and then 45 in the two reduction methods. Well, rollover equals 99, 117, and 45 in both methods. And while we're talking about that number, I, I noticed this was captured by On Scene TV. Uh, I guess that's a website. Honestly, I've never seen this before, and I was just wondering if that's coded too. And who's capturing the rollover? On scene.tv, 117 and 45. Seems to be a lot of alignments here. In the standard reduction method, Freemasonry sums to 58. The 58th prime number is 271, just six numbers short of 277, the 59th prime number. And if we instead me measure to Will Ferrell's birthday, so Will Ferrell, born July 16th, and measuring from his last birthday, he was in his 271st day of being 50 years old. 271, the 58th prime number. And Anchorman has a lot of hoax numbers in it to begin with. First of all, in the reverse order, it sums to 48, uh, full reduction. Hoax equals 48 in the alphabetic order. Propaganda, 48 in the reduction method. A, a cipher very similar to Jewish gematria. You'll notice it's structured the same way, 1 through 9, 10 through 90, and then 100 through 900. So instead of reducing to a single digit, we're amplifying the numbers. And you can do this with the present-day English alphabet also. Well, using this method, Anchorman sums to 303, and all you need to do is follow my work for a couple days, and you'll see that 33 is the primary hoax code the media stamps in their events. Furthermore, Anchorman is 156 in the reverse order, and that's the alphabetic value of 33, 156. And not to get too crazy with the ciphers here, but we do have several mathematical ciphers, and you know one of the most important ones is prime numbers. And you know we've been talking about prime numbers this whole video. Uh, prime number relationships are no doubt highly significant to the occult. Well, in prime numbers, Anchorman equals 263, and the date of this crash, April 12th, is the date that leaves 263 days on the calendar. And also check out the 45 numerology. You know, we saw this in the value of 13 and rollover. Also, this 263 is the 56th prime number, and Will Ferrell's first name, Will, equals 56. So, one after the other. Uh, I also put some more interesting gematria here in the blog. I guess, uh, out of all the other values that I saw that kind of stuck out, Will Ferrell involved in car accident in the English extended cipher that we just glanced at, you have this number, 2211. And yes, 22 plus 11 is 33, but more important is that 2211 is the 66th triangular number. So if you add up all numbers, 1 through 66, it sums to 2211. 
And this story is, of course, about Will Ferrell, which sums to 66 reverse reduction. So does the word 33 using the alphabetic order. SUV turnover equals 66. I don't know about that. I would, I would actually call this a rollover, so maybe not. But, you know, you, you can clearly see they're, uh, they're playing with the numbers here. They're setting these celebrities up in situations all by the numbers, all by the code. And then they pay tribute to it in the news headlines because the mainstream media is fully aware of what the police is doing. And they are in cahoots together, lying to the public on a daily basis about what's happening in this world. So just like my last video, you know, they lie about Carrie Underwood. Again, they're lying about Will Ferrell. So what are they telling us the truth about? Certainly not something important like Middle Eastern politics, right? That'll do it for this video, Truth Seeker. Thanks for watching.